Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I know it's been a while. I've been quite busy. Um, I got something new and from Amazon. I ordered it. It's called uh, Brunost, which is Norwegian brown cheese. And I've never tried it before, but I've heard so much about it. But uh, today, so today I'm going to try it. All right. I hope I like it. Um, I always like to try new things. I heard about it um, and I wanted to try it. So basically, Brunost is, um, it's like a smoked cheese, but it's actually not cheese. It's, it's actually whey. So um, that's, that's basically what it is. You could say, I mean, they call it brown cheese. It's brown in color, but it's smoked whey. So I guess, I'm not sure what the whey is actually. Um, I guess the whey is like, when you're making cheese or I think maybe, you know, maybe when you're boiling milk, the way is the little, um, like cottage cheese, like things that kind of come up at the top. Um, I think I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, and then I think it goes through a smoking process. I believe it's smoked. Anyway, don't quote me on it. I should have, you know, come prepared first before doing this video. Um, but I didn't anyway. So it's not cheese cheese. Like we know it. It's, um, it's whey and it's supposed to have kind of like a caramelly or a nutty taste to it. But I've been told it depends on what kind of cheese and depends on the brand. So I bought some, um, brown cheese here and apparently this is a mix of regular milk, like cow's milk and goat's milk. So I'm going to taste it and I can't wait to see how it tastes, um, I hope I like it. It was actually quite expensive. $22 for two eight ounce blocks of cheese. All right, so let's see how I like it. I'm gonna bring this over here. Um, I just opened up the package already because I wanted to make sure that it was um, in good condition. And it looks, it looks all right. It looks like it's in good condition. Um, this is it. This is how they come. It's eight ounces, but it's actually quite small. Um, that's what it says on the, yeah, eight ounces there. That's what it says on the package, and it's actually quite small. So it's called Ski Queen. Um, they packaged it up pretty well. So it first, first I had to open up this envelope here. It's a FedEx bubbled envelope. And then I had to open up this envelope, another bubbled envelope and it came with a cold pack so for the price like $22 of this two of these two of these and you get a cold pack so that's nice I have now an extra cold pack for when I have to take my lunches out um, and it also came with some instructions here so it says I don't know if you guys can really read this here, maybe backwards. Um, it says, please, please read to preserve your product. Your order was shipped by a one to two day delivery service. And as long as it arrives within two days and is not open, it is safe to eat. Um, I'm not sure when it shipped. I think it was sh shipped two days ago. Um, it arrived to my house at 5.30 p.m. and it is now 11.18. So cheese and herring immediately refrigerate upon arrival. I obviously did not do that yet, but I'm going to do it soon. Um, our left seat does not contain preservatives. If using within a couple of days, place in the refrigerator. Otherwise, the product needs to be stored in the freezer until ready to use. Okay. Uh, if using within a couple of days, place in the refrigerator. Otherwise, the product needs to be stored in the freezer. That's for meat or lutefisk. But I'm having Lefsky, I think. Cheese, Lefsky. Um, have an issue, we can fix it if you reach out to us. And this company here is in Rushford, Minnesota. There's the number, Norslin Lefsky. Of course, this is not an endorsement because I do not have a sponsorship. Um, so it's actually an American shipped, it's an American company, uh, which sells Norwegian products. So let's see how it is. I'm going to have to put the phone down 
while I open this because I can't do this with two hands and I don't know what I did with my tripod. I lost it. I don't know where it is. I mean, I didn't lose it, lose it, but it's around here someplace and I just can't find it. Um, so I'm going to actually see, you know what? Maybe I can stick my phone in here like this in the little dish holder. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> my, my dish holder here works as a tripod and I'm going to open it. And now the correct way to, um, enjoy brown cheese or any kind of cheese, any kind of Norwegian cheese is with a Norwegian cheese cutter, which I don't have. So, spoiler alert, any New Norwegian people here watching this, I'm sorry, you guys. I have no other choice but to cut it with a knife. Um, I have a peeler, but I don't think it's really going to work with a peeler because it might come out too thin, and the peeler is also very, very thin, so I might not get the whole slice. If I just cut it nice and thin with a regular butter knife, I think I can enjoy the whole slice um, rather than using a Norwegian cheese cutter because I don't have a Norwegian cheese cutter. Sorry. Okay. I wish I had one. Forgive me, please. <laughs> Pulling my ears down. All right. Anyway, so I'm opening up the package here. I guess you open it up from the side. It's kind of wrapped up like, like a present like that. Um... And first, I would like to smell it. I can kind of feel the texture. It feels very soft. It feels like um, American cheese, although I know it's not American cheese. Oh, I even got some on my thumb. Hmm. Okay. So when I smell it, it smells a lot like caramel. It smells like the caramel that you can melt. And I do smell cheese also, like I smell processed cheese. Um, so gosh, how do you open this without, okay, so I'm just pushing it up, how I open this. You know, I really should get um, a board to put this on so I don't put it right on my granite top. So let me get a board here, all right. Okay, here's my cutting board. Mm. I like how it smells. It smells very sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. There we go. So when I cut it, it actually kind of cuts a lot like like a maple or maple, like a, like a block of, of maple butter, um, if that makes any sense. Um, Mm, I do like the way it smells. All right, let me try some now. Mm. I like it. Um... So when I taste it, I taste the caramel, I taste a little bit of nuttiness, um, it's soft, something on my tongue here, it's soft, um, and I do taste the cheesiness as well. So again, like the texture is kind of like processed American cheese. Um, and I do taste the cheesiness. So that's that's kind of how I would, you know, explain it. It's kind of like a caramelized um, processed American cheese taste. Uh, I can, it has kind of a nutty aftertaste too, like a nutty caramel aftertaste. I like it a lot. I thought it was going to be a lot stronger tasting than what I had expected. Um, I watched other YouTubers taste it and one did not like it at all. Um, you know, most say it has kind of a sharper taste to it and I thought it was going to be a lot sharper, but no, this is actually not very sharp. It's not bursting with flavor. 
Um, it's got a very mild flavor to it, and I like it a lot. I would definitely have it again. Um, mm. I'm dropping it on the floor here. It's really good. Um, the only problem is it's very expensive. So I would buy it again if it wasn't so expensive. I mean, $22 for two of these tiny little things. $22, all right? That's a lot. I'm sure if you go to Norway, it's not going to be that expensive because it's imported. $22, all right? That's ridiculous. That's too expensive. So, yes, I would buy it again for the flavor and because I like the way that it tastes. Um, it's definitely a good product, but it's I, I would not buy it again because of the price. It's too expensive. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll try, you know, one more time to, I don't know, kind of treat myself or for the novelty or something like that. Uh, maybe I would try another brand, but it's really expensive. All right. It's delicious. I like it a lot. I would definitely eat it again, but I uh, unfortunately would not buy it again. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you've made it this long, um, like, subscribe, leave a nice constructive comment, and do share this channel with your friends. And I hope to be making more videos soon. Um, if things in my life don't settle down, then, you know, maybe I'll just kind of put this channel on, on the back burner as I have been, but, um, I hope not to do that. Hope to grow the channel. Uh, and yeah, anyway, so like the video, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you guys later. Bye.